uh, but I know that this one ah, okay this is the index finger so I'm gonna call this L F and G for finger index base J and C because it's the base uh, joint and I'm gonna copy this and call it mid and you can see now I'm gonna run into some issues because we actually got two mid joints so I'm gonna call this mid two so <laughs> the naming convention can be a bit tricky because you never know um, what you're gonna run into but the most important I important part is that you can uh, that you know what what your naming convention is yourself and it should be consistent throughout uh, your rig and this is gonna be the ring finger I hope so <laughs> so you can see there's a lot of naming but we're almost done mid uh, one I know that some people don't like rigging and uh, it can be tough I must admit but uh, it can also be fun in my opinion I think it's really cool when you make a character and you can actually begin to see it move oops this should be tip I'm just gonna do this and it's not that complicated so I figured there's no need to explain um, and it's really cool to see your character come to life and see how it moves you also have to figure about figure out how does it actually move in reality and uh, in many cases you can actually uh, cheat and not make the character move all in a realistic way because if you do that it will be very complicated and uh, a lot of times a bit too much and then it's gonna be the last one The most important thing in your uh, naming convention is the last J and C and the first L. Uh, you want this because uh, later on you can select the joints just by the name because every joint got a got this naming convention, so it's gonna make your life so much easier. Phew. done with the hand it's a <laughs> we of course need the leg as well but it's not that complicated hip j and g l leg base g l leg mid j and g and like um, and TNT. So next one. Okay, this should probably be called foot. Foot. L. 
Toes GNC L Toes and GNC So that's the naming convention and now we can go on to mirroring the joints So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna go to skeleton mirror joint and uh, as I was talking about you can see the axis down here you want it Y set and you want to search for L and replace it with R because it's gonna be R when it's gonna be mirrored and I'm just gonna hit apply and it works so you don't have to make all the joints again for the other half uh, and I'm gonna do it for the arm as well and that's uh, basically it for setting up the skeleton um, in the face you might want some uh, joints as well but for now I'm not gonna go into that because uh, it's gonna make it a long session and it's it's a bit more complicated I have to dig in a bit more deep to make that you can also make uh, the facial wig with blend shapes um, but the, the reason why we are going to mirror the joints is because when you're making a wig you can't really mirror the wig you can only mirror the joints in some cases you can also mirror the um, the control controllers um, but for this one we're going to do it this way so one last step before we're done is that if you select the spine um, we might have some issues with the rotation axis and uh, I'm not sure how it is in this Maya but right now I select the whole spine I'm gonna go to sh uh, display and transform display I'm gonna hold control shift click so it added adds it to the shelf and this toggles on the orientation of my bones and you can see right now it's uh, not really fitting so you want if I rotate this now oops you can see <laughs> <laughs> it's rotating uh, very weirdly and uh, you really want the orientation of all these joints to be the same uh, and right now it's not so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to skeleton orient joint and uh, these settings are kinda confusing so what I normally do is I just play around trying to find um, the right settings and um, I think this actually changes I'm not quite sure I think this is the order which in the rotation should be let's try to see what it does okay hmm It says an uh, error that I have some mutation on some of my joints But uh, it's a bug in Maya, I know, because I had it before yeah, uh, But let me, let me try to freeze the transformations I know there's another way where you can just uh, select the orientation and actually uh, move it but uh, it takes a bit longer so I'm gonna go to modify freeze transformations and I'm gonna select the option box I don't want to freeze the translate because you can't do that on a joint and I'm gonna press apply and then actually change something uh, I changed the orientation I think on this one so again I'm gonna go to skeleton orient joint and gonna try okay now it actually did something 
But I think it's gonna do it for the whole, for all the joints. That's a bit weird, but uh, right now we can see that it's working on these ones. Um, so you can see it's getting, getting there. I'm just trying to play with it. Let's see how it rotates now. And yes, it works. Hooray! This is what you want, that all the joints are rotating in the same axis. Otherwise, it would be that this one would rotate the whole other way. And that would not be good because... Yeah, you don't want that. So I'm gonna press toggle on this one. So it hides the axis again. And uh, then we're done with the skeleton. It wraps up the first part. The next part we're going to uh, set up the controllers uh, for the leg. And uh, we're going to uh, make the leg rig work. And uh, it's gonna be nice. So, uh, see you in the next lesson. And uh, have fun.